loves what's up welcome back to my channel and happy new year for today's video i wanted to do a valentine's day inspired look so this is what it came out like and yeah if you want to see how i got this look then keep on watching so i'm gonna start off with the benefit foolproof brow powder this one's in number three and i'm going to take the darker shade and just run that through my brows now I'm taking the Precisely My Brow in number four. I basically just use this to make any hair-like stroke. I only use the concealer on the bottom and then the top. I clean it up with whatever foundation I'm using whenever I put my foundation on. And I wait till the end to set my brows because as I go, I probably will get some powder or something on there. I'm going to prep my base with Brumer 01 P. Louise Base. Start with the Blushing Berries from Dose of Colors. I'm going to start with the lightest shade, Berry Chick. I always, always start with the lightest shade possible. I normally start with like a brown just to warm it up, but today we're just going right into the pinks. I want this to be very light up here, so I barely push down on my brush once I'm up here. I just lightly, with a light hand and circular motions just to kind of create that nice transition and not harsh line between the brow bone. I like building up color slowly. I feel like it looks better in the end overall and it's easier to blend as you go and having to put on such harsh colors or a lot of color and have to blend it out it just takes more time on the one right next to it rose and berry get a little bit of this one mixed berries you can skip this color, but I already had done it on this eye, so I felt like I had to do it on this one. And it just goes straight into this other color I'm going to use. Oh, it's so dirty. It's another Dose of Colors Baked Brown Palette, and it's like this cherry wood color right here. And I'm just going to use that to darken everything up right here. I just build up slowly, like I said, so... I'm going to keep doing this until I'm fine with the level of darkness. So I just grabbed that P. Louise base and I'm just going to clean this up wherever I'm going to put the shimmer down. I'm going to take Stella Liquid Shimmer in Bohemia. I'm just going to put this on my lid. I'm going to add another shimmer. These shimmers are so pigmented. It's the Eddie Funkhauser, and this is what all the shimmers look like. I'm going to use, I'm going to use Plush Plush. Taking that cherry wood shade and I'm just blending the shimmer with the matte color together. That way it doesn't seem like a harsh, you know, end just blends together nicely, kind of overlapping. The reason I'm mixing it is because I don't want it too white and this other one is more pinkish, so it's a combo of both. Put some mascara on and use the Roller Lash Benefit Cosmetics and I'm just gonna pop these lashes on. They're Kiss Lashes in the style Opulence. I've been using the Kiss Lash Glue. I like it better than Duo, to be honest. It works really good. Okay, so I already moisturized my face, cleaned all the fallout out, and also put my primer on. I use the same one, the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. I love this one. So I'm doing my foundation now. I'm using the Frankie Rose um, Matte Perfection Foundation in Olive. Um, you're gonna see this go on me and be like, girl, that is way too dark for you but my chest is super white. It blends in with my arms and I hate looking so white, so I just like using this and dragging it down my neck and chest. Just dot it everywhere. And then with the e.l.f. sponge, I just blend it in. Then to drag it down my neck, I just use it's a hula one from Benefit. I need to buy the Loving Tan again because being so pale is not cute on me. 
Also, don't forget your ears because that'll look so weird too if your ears are white and your foundation and everything else is tanner. Okay, and then with the concealer brush, I'm taking the foundation and I'm going to clean up on top of my brows because I never did with the concealer since I didn't want that to be super light. So I'm just going to use some moisturizer under my eyes. Same thing, honestly. You just need to keep something hydrated under there. And this is like a water cream, so it's very light. It's not a thick moisturizer. When I went to the Makeup by Mario class, he didn't use an eye cream and people were like, you're not using an eye cream? And he's like, well, it's just a moisturizer. It's the same thing. I have that stupid TikTok stuck in my head. I'm gonna conceal my under eyes now and use the tarp shape tape per usual and I'm gonna take that concealer brush to apply it so I'm pretty much stopping this one right here because I'm gonna add a lighter one just to brighten it up a little bit more right there I'm taking Frankie Rose in a fresh just because it's lighter than the Tarte Shade Tape so I'm just brightening it up right here a little bit more down I'm also gonna highlight with this one because it's not as thick as the Tarte Shade Tape let it dry a little bit and I'm going to contour meanwhile. I haven't used this Laura Mercier brush yet, but it looks pretty good to contour with. So I'm going to use that and see how it works. Ooh, it's cracked. Um, this is the Cream Shop. It's just one, two, three, smile in medium. I'm gonna blend this out before it gets a little bit too dry. And then I'll finish my contour. I like using a brush to do the contour. I don't like the lines because it's just more work, honestly. It looks cool and everything, but why not just apply and blend at the same time? Like, don't get me wrong, I'll do the line sometimes just for like the video because it looks better, like Instagram videos or something, but this is what I do in real life. I really like this brush, it's so soft. Okay, we are bronzed and now I just need to set everything. Okay, so I'm going to use the Lancome. This is one of my favorites. It's the Long Time No Shine in Translucent. Just make the Popeye face. That's Popeye, right? <laughs> I think that is. I'm going to also set this little area right here with powder because I have pores there. I'm not really going to bake this. I'm just pushing it in. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the Studio Fix. This one is in C3. And for bronzer, this is embarrassing. I really need a new one. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I think my setting powder under here should be done, so I'm going to pat it in and then dust it off. Next, I'm going to highlight my under eyes just a little bit more with the Frankie Rose Pro Contour Palette, and I'm going to mix these two right here. Got the light color and I'm just taking it down the bridge of my nose. For blush, I've been using this palette like crazy. I really like it. You can find it at Target. With it's Makeup Obsession, isn't it peachy? Today, I think I'm just gonna use this one right here. Blush looks a little intense right now, but don't worry. I'm gonna get that one I used to apply my powder and I'm just going to blend all of this out right here. Just dragging that under. I'm just gonna let that bake. Make sure to follow the line of your cheekbone, not just a straight line down because then it's just gonna be like this. You wanna curve it in. Okay, I almost forgot. I have to finish off the bottom of my under eye with eyeshadow. I was supposed to do that when I had my setting powder on under my eyes. Doug and Mensa. I'm taking the Cherry Wood shade first. I'm going to take the Blushing Berries, that first shade, just to kind of blend out that Cherry Wood shade. If you get any fallout under your eye, just dust it off super quick and it will not stick to your under eye because it's already set with powder. 
I'm going to apply mascara to my lower lash line. I'm going to use the roller lash. So for highlight, I'm going to mix these two. It's Laura Mercier Indiscretion and Addiction. I'm gonna add this new liner, it's by Rimmel, in my waterline. I already fixed my brows, whatever got messed up. So now I'm going to set it with the Benefit Cosmetics 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is what is going to keep your brows in place all day and also gives them a really nice shape. So my goal this year is was to be more present on YouTube and post on here more. Also, I want to read more books. So if you guys have any suggestions on ones that get you motivated, let me know. I'm going to reread Think and Grow Rich because last time it got me really motivated. And honestly, just like it gets your mindset in the right place. So that's one I really like. Now I'm going to do my lips. I lost my favorite lip liner, Cork by MAC, so I need to go get one. I think I'm just going to go get Sweet Tea by Morphe because it's a pretty similar shade and it's cheaper. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to line it up with Subculture from MAC. I'm going for a pretty nude lip because my eyes are already pink going on in color. And I'm going to apply the liquid lipstick, Stone. This one's by Dose of Colors. Lastly, I'm topping it off with a KKW in Super Nude. Okay, so that about wraps up this video, and I will see you guys next time.